This animation illustrates the computer models detailed in the monograph The Development of Science Sequencing Skills and Empirical and Computational Analysis at Work. The computerised agent has a very simplified body, hands, head, ears, eyes and a brain. The task is a set of coloured shapes that must be ordered big to small or vice versa. Let's assume here that the agent must order the elements of the set from big to small. An immature agent at the start of a simulation has no concept of a set of well-separated items. However, the agent has some pre-existing design constraints to get it off the ground. The agent has an inbuilt, very fuzzy concept of size relations. This means that it can only conceive of big and small classes and it cannot initially identify specific sizes such as second biggest. It just sees a set of stimuli as being in big or small classes, and that's it. However, this changes as the trials progress. Before selecting a stimulus, the agent gets size difference information with a frame of the set as a reference point, a bit like measuring these differences with a laser pointer. These differences are stored in working memory. The agent combines these measures with probability information about the stimulus ranking. A probability of selection is then calculated for each stimulus, and a random number determines which one wins. A red cross here indicates the stimuli that have lost, and the green tick indicates the stimulus that has won. Having determined the winner, the agent touches the stimulus. On correct selection, the agent's brain is updated with stimulus ranking information. Furthermore, the selected stimulus is inhibited from further touches. This goes on throughout the trial until the correct sequence is chosen. The agent's trials get faster and faster with fewer errors. This happens because the stimulus ranking gets more and more precise over time. We see here the start of the agent's transition into expertise. As the agent gets faster, and as working memory power increases, the size difference information becomes available for inspection after correct selection. With a set of sizes now available for meaningful interrogation, the agent discovers that it is always selecting the smallest size difference that leads to success. The probability rankings then transform into a set of slots, representing this knowledge. So we started with the agent making noisy, uncertain selections, driven only by big and small relational knowledge. And we ended with the agent having discrete set knowledge gained from trial and error experience with size-related sets. The monograph and model presentation can provide further detail. Thanks very much for watching.